are the boys who will stop your little game. We are the boys who will make you think again. Cause who do you think you are giving, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done, Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21. But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun. So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done. Are you there, sir? Yes, of course I'm here. Well, the men are uh, fallen in. They uh, really look awfully smart. Good. Now come and look at them. All right, sir. <laughs> Why aren't you in your snow camouflage suit? Well, I came here by the high street, sir, and I, uh, I didn't want to look a fool in public. Well, I'm wearing mine. I don't look a fool. <laughs> Why haven't you brought the men inside? Well, it uh, seems a lot of shame, sir, you see, because the vergers spent all day yesterday polishing the floor. Oh, we can't worry about things like that. We've got a wall to win. Bring them in. All right, sir. Now, would you mind uh, stepping in here, please? Put it in your hand, please. Right, thank you, Corporal. Stand it! E. Very good, very good indeed, man. Very proud of you. <laughs> and now we can follow the example of our Finnish allies and become completely, completely invisible in the snow. <laughs> there's one thing. There's no snow. Science! <laughs> very good, Joan. Yep. What have you done to your spectacles? Well, it's camouflage, sir. See? Camouflage. <laughs> I've got very highly coloured eyes, you know, sir. People frequently remark comments about them in the shop. See, look at that, sir, look. See? <laughs> and I thought to myself, well, if they show up so much in a shop, how much more so much would they show up in the snow? Yeah. Yes, I don't think it was necessary. <laughs> Nostrils look a bit odd, too. <laughs> so it's cotton wool, sir. It's cotton wool, you see. So when I'm in action, I get very fractious and worked up, sir. Mm. And my nostrils flare, sir. <laughs> and they take on a sort of angry red hue. <laughs> of course, they don't show up in the shop because I don't get worked up and fractious. Well, nobody does over meat and sausages, do they? <laughs> anyway, if I thought if I got worked up and fractious in the snow, my nostrils would shine out like beacons and give my place away. Yeah. I think you're going into the realms of fantasy now, Joan. <laughs> right. Don't play the fool with me, boy. I'm not playing the fool. Mum wouldn't let me put whitewash on me face. See, this is Uncle Arthur's idea. All right. Well, he has a very sensitive skin, sir. It runs in the family. And whose family? His family. <laughs> I see. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> That's all I could find. A wedding dress. Aye. It was my mother's. Oh, there's a veil. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the attic. And you know this cup mannering? Mm. The poor wee mousy had passed away. <laughs> and the bustle. <laughs> What do you think? Well, I suppose we should be grateful that he hasn't brought the bouquet. <laughs> yes, find something more suitable. Right, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Who put you up to this, Godfrey? Oh, it's my pillow costume. I, I it was in the Army and Navy store, so we, we went as a sort of troop and did a few shows for, for charity, and we called ourselves the Gay Gondoliers. <laughs> <laughs> the Gay Gondoliers? We can't have this. Oh, I don't know, sir. I think it's rather fun, except for the pom-poms. <laughs> I not they had to cut them off. I thought we might keep them until after the bells rang and the snow fell. Oh, I can't allow that. No, no, no. You must wear proper clothes, like everybody else. <laughs> well, <clears throat> on the house, very good turnout, man. Very good. And now, when it snows, we shall be able to merge into the landscape. Oh! Look at that floor! Look at that floor! Just look at it! Three hours I spent on that! 
back breaker. Oh, never mind all that, Mr. Yates. But Captain Manning, can I have a word with you? Well, can't you see that I'm busy? We're all busy in our own different ways, Captain Manning. Mm. I just want to give you plenty of notice that you won't be able to use the hall on Saturday fortnight. Oh? Well, I may need it. I may need it for a serious military purpose. Well, I do need it for a church bazaar. We're raising money for comforts for the troops. <laughs> why have I only just learned this? The parish council only decided half an hour ago. That's why. That'll do, Mr. Yateman. Oh, no, this is a project in which you could count on our wholehearted support, isn't it, Wilson? I shouldn't be at all surprised. Yes, for the home guard behind you, the affair could take on a much, much broader aspect. But time's short, we must act quickly. I want you to get round all the important people in the town and summon them to a meeting. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll form a small executive committee. We should have to have a chairman, of course. A chairman? <laughs> now, I wonder who that'll be. <laughs> now, as chairman... Uh, <laughs> may I just bring the meeting to order? And welcome... Oh, wait, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Why ever is it, whenever we have a meeting about anything, you're always the chairman? Who elected you? That's what I want to know. It was perfectly above board and legal. Oh. I was elected by the steering committee. Oh. And who elected the steering committee? I did. <laughs> <There you are. laughs> yes, uh, town clerk, uh, I feel sure we're all most happy to have uh, Captain Mannering as chairman. <laughs> now, I, I have a meeting of my general purposes committee in one hour and five minutes, so please, can we proceed? Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Captain Manning, we've been coupon counting. Oh, I see. Well, I've had police it down. Oh, thank you. We always do coupon counting on the last Wednesday of the month. Yes, yes. I dread it. I don't mind telling you. I really dread it. So, do you know, if it wasn't for Mrs Fox, I don't think I'd be able to carry on. She's awfully good to me, Mrs Fox. Yes, I'm Fox. sure she is. Do, do <laughs> sit down. I do the odd hundred, and, and then I make him a nice cup of tea and things. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the least I can do, isn't it? It's the least you can, can do. Can we get on? Yes, can we get on, yeah. please? Do yeah. Yeah. Oh, I second that. Oh, be quiet, Mr. Yankman. <laughs> <laughs> right, how many offers of help uh, have we on hand at the moment, then, uh, Sam Wilson? Uh, Mrs. Yankman has very kindly said that she will uh, do the tombola. She right? always does the tombola. Well, that's because she's very good at the tombola. Mm. On the other hand, I mean, if this year Mrs. Pike wants to do the tombola. Oh, I don't want to do the tombola. Well, then why did you mention it, Mavis? Don't you start. <laughs> you lay on the settee with your muddy boots on last night, now, didn't Mavis, you? Please, Wet please. the antimacassar and then tried to rub it off. Thought I wouldn't notice. I told you you shouldn't have rinsed it in the rose bowl, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Can we get on? Yes, please, please, please. Can we get on? Perhaps I'd better take the list, son. Right, yes. You're going to rue the day you ever met that woman. <laughs> and I'm doing quite a lot of ruing at this very moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, here we are. Uh, Mr. Godfrey, I understand that you're you're going to uh, you're going to provide some chutney. Is that right? uh, yes, uh, uh, my sister Dot is giving us three pots of honey <laughs> and quite a lot of wine, oh. elderberry. Oh. Uh, you've tasted it, I think, Mr. Mr. Aha, once. I must admit, <clears throat> I found it totally undrinkable. But no doubt, some fool pay the money to, for the name of charity, son. <laughs> <laughs> to say here and now that I am about to donate a monster brawn. What? what? Monster brawn? <laughs> you can serve it slice at a time on plates or else you can have a monster brawn raffle. What sort of okay. monster is it going to be made from? Be quiet. <laughs> Mrs Fox here, she's going to do fortune telling and soothsaying in a gypsy tent. For June telling you. That's right. Cards or ball. Uh, the work Whatever of... takes your fancy. The work of the devil. I'm only going to charge sixpence. Well, that's cheap enough. And each person gets five minutes alone with me. <laughs> Hello, eh? <laughs> oh, well, it's a good cause. You're a fine built woman. I'll take a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, point of order. Mm. What is Mrs. Mannering going to do? That isn't a point of order, Mr. Hodge. Oh, I see. She's not going to do anything, then. On the contrary. She's providing some lampshades. Lampshades? Yes. Yes. She makes them from odds and ends. Helps pass her time in the shelter. So, Yabu sucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, listen. One more outburst like that from you, Pike, and you'll go home. So He's a young hooligan. That's what he is. Never you mind about him. What are you going to do? Yes, do let's keep to the matter in hand. Yeah, As yeah. a matter of fact, Mr Hodges has a rather wonderful surprise for us, haven't you, Mr Hodges? Yes, and it's better than your mouldy old wine and rotten lampshades. <clears throat> I'm going to donate 
Three oranges. Three oh, oranges? Yeah. <laughs> I'll bet none of you have seen oranges for years. No. Uh, you can auction them off. Where did you get three oranges? Never you mind. They make a lot of money, and that's all that matters. Yes, yes, well, I'm sure we're, we're, we're all very grateful. Oh, I second that. Oh, be quiet, Mr. Gay. <laughs> there, was a, there was a function at Eastgate last week. Uh, mm. They had sausage rolls. Uh, couldn't we have uh, sausage rolls? On behalf of Mrs. Yateman, one thing's got to be made perfectly clear. If we're going to have sausage rolls, we've got to have sausages. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, um, they were made for some, from some um, vegetable concoction. But, but the trick was, they had puff pastry. <laughs> they were very nice. You can't have mm. puff pastry without fat. Anybody knows that. Men don't. They think we wave a fairy wand. They don't have to queue up for hours on end. <laughs> well, it's no good queuing up outside my shop. I haven't got any fat, neither. No, you take Mr Jones for granted. Yeah. Too much, all of you. Yeah. What are you talking about? I wouldn't go to his shop with Wellington boots on. Oh! <laughs> you couldn't, cos you're not registered with me. Listen, if you want a few honeys in future, you please, please, to... please, 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 don't. Let's please. get this discussion heated, please. After all, we're only here to raise money to send comforts to the troops. Hey, I've got an idea. Uh, we could all club together and send a Mrs. Fox. How dare you? It's a joke. This is your fault. You're far too relaxed with this boy. Don't you blame the boy. It's all happened since he's been with you lot. Since I've but been I'll box your ears for you. <laughs> <laughs> Lights out was sounded long ago. Hey, yeah, Pikey, look at that. that. Isn't that a picture? That really is a monster brawn, that. Really. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jones! Mr. Jones! What is it, Mrs. Fox? Oh, I've lost one of my globes. <laughs> you got both when you come in. Well, of course I had. Could you use something else to gaze into? Uh, no. Oh, I know. I can run home and get Mum's goldfish bowl. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pikey. I don't expect Mrs Fox to gaze into a goldfish bowl with a lot of goldfish swimming about. She'd be gazing in for inspiration and they'd be gazing out going... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Godfrey, how's everything going? Oh, very well, thank you. Uh, my sister Dolly had a very good idea. Yes. Uh, letting people taste the wine before they buy it, and then they know what to expect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Would you like to try some, Mr Mannering? It's my best elderberry. Two o'clock in the afternoon? No, 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 thank you. No. Well, perhaps Mr Wilson would like to try some. Yes, I would indeed. Thank you so much. How nice of you. Thank mm. you. Love that. Just what I would like. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's all that palaver about? Well, that's the way you have to do it, you see. I mean, the, the French people always do it like that. Actually, one really should spit it out. Well, let's have any of these dirty foreign tricks here. <laughs> Ah, silhouettes, eh? That's a novelty. <laughs> oh, it is. Uh, oh, would you like me to do you, sir? Oh, yes, why not? Only sixpence. Sixpence, oh, well. <laughs> now, you'll have to... Have, 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 have to stand very still. Yes. Right. Thank you. Captain Manrin, sir. Yes? My monster's gone shiny. What did you say? <laughs> still, I said... <clears throat> it's too hot in here, it's beginning to melt, so what am I going to do? Perfectly simple, Jones. Take it out into the yard when it's cool and bring it into the hall from time to time to show to the people. <laughs> <laughs> what would we do without your, your organising ability? Pikey, yeah. Pikey, come on, we're going to take this outside. Oh, all right. Too hot in here. <laughs> well, don't jog it about. I'm not jogging. <laughs> you are jogging. It's not me. It's you. There you are, sir. That's it. You to a tee. Oh, it's awfully good, sir. Perfect likeness. Terribly good. Rubbish. <laughs> Just a round lump. <laughs> well, you're a round lump. <laughs> I didn't pay six minutes to be insulted, Fraser. I think you're getting a bargain. <laughs> you're in uniform. I put you on a charge for insolent behaviour. 
Why is this table empty? Well, it's Mrs. Uh, Mannering stall for her lampshade, sir, you see. Ah. Ah, ah, yes. Lampshades. Just come in the office a minute, will you? Uh, uh, sir. Hey, our vicar. Look at that. Mouth-watering, isn't it? Oh, a rare sight indeed, Mr. Hodges. Do you know, I don't think I've seen an orange for oh, over two years. If my memory serves me right, Your Reverence, it was just before the war in the Scouts' production of Good King Charles. You played Nell Gwynn. Ah, happy <laughs> days. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <clears throat> now, about uh, these lampshades of, of Mrs. Mannering's. Oh, yes. 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 Uh, she's been making them for over a year now, but I've never said anything about it because she's rather sensitive to criticism. Yes. Uh, but um, <clears throat> the fact is they're, uh, they're rather unusual. Unusual? <clears throat> yes. Not to put too fine a point upon it, they're bizarre. <laughs> but uh, she is determined to bring them down here this afternoon to help out. <laughs> oh. Is there a yeah, joke? Yeah. Yes, there is, as a matter of fact, a little bit of a joke, yes, sir. <laughs> See, the bizarre for the bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean, sir? Understand? It's sort of a, a play on... Uh, a play on... Uh, uh... Yes. Now, <laughs> I realise, of course, that these lampshades were going to uh, call forth some rather ribald remarks from the more plebeian fractions of the, of the town. Yes. But uh, I said to myself, well, after all, she's my wife and uh, I, must, I must stand up for her. Yeah, well, that's very noble of you, sir. Yes. And then came the incident of the bath. The bath? Hmm. You see, we have a rather old bath at home yes. and uh, some of the enamel's chipped off and there's a rather dirty brown stain under the taps. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah. Well, I was in the ironmongers yesterday and I saw some uh, bath enamel. So while she was out shopping this morning, I put a coat on the bath. Did it work? Only up to a point. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it takes five hours to dry. <laughs> and Elizabeth is very unpredictable, you see. After all, how, how, how would I have expected her to decide to take a bath in the middle of the day? <laughs> I was sitting in my study when it happened. <laughs> what happened? I heard a dreadful scream come from the bathroom. Yes. Dashed in to find her standing in the bath. And the paint had come off in one long strip, you understand, and uh, she was wrapped in a sort of, uh, sort of... Uh... <laughs> uh, see, a sort of a uh, enamel skirt. Right. <coughs> it was hell to pay, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and came the question of how to get the stuff off. I mean, chemicals were no use. Pumice stone wouldn't shift the stuff. Sandpaper? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Very delicate skin. Yeah. Anyway, I managed to take off the bits that were hanging down, you see, and, and tell her that uh, <laughs> she'd just have to let the rest wear off. <laughs> it became rather hysterical, and uh, to calm her down, I said, well, don't bother, dear. I said, nobody's going to look at you without clothes. <laughs> well, did it do any good? <clears throat> Not at all. No, no. <laughs> no, she ran into the bedroom and slammed the door. Well, this means, of course, that she won't be here this afternoon. Oh, really? I really am awfully sorry about that, sir. So sorry. There's only one thing which might retrieve the situation. Yeah? That's if I could get hold of one of Hodge's oranges. Now, that might calm her down, you see. She's very partial to oranges. Yes, well, let's hope that does the trick. <coughs> There's only one consolation about the whole thing. What's that? Well, I shan't have to be embarrassed by those damned lampshades. Oh. <laughs> there we are, Pikey. That's the I... lot. They are nice. He will be pleased. What are you doing? What are you doing? Putting out Mrs. Mannering's lampshades. How did you get hold of them? Oh, well, well I was coming here, you see. I had to pass your house. Yeah. And on the doorstep was a big cardboard box there. Yeah. Anyway, I was standing there. The door opened a crack. Mm. A hand came out and a finger beckoned to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I went up. And I noticed that underneath the fingernail, it was all white paint. <laughs> anyway, there was this, this mad cackling laugh, the finger pointed at the box, and the door slammed. Hey, you don't think it's your cleaning lady gone potty, do you? You should be <laughs> <laughs> There's two more of them. Oh, fancied. they're lovely. Hey, everybody, have a look. Look at these lampshades Mrs. Madden made. Aren't they lovely? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid boy. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention for a moment, please? Now, may I first of all welcome you to our winter bazaar? 
And here to perform the opening ceremony is our popular town clerk, Mr. Gordon. Go and fetch the ball, we're opening. Oh, right. Good afternoon, citizens of Warmington on Sea. <clears throat> now, as you know, this bazaar this afternoon is in aid of the town's Comforts for the Troops Fund. Every penny that you give will be another nail in Hitler's coffin. <laughs> so, go to it with a will. <clears throat> I now declare this bazaar well and truly open. <laughs> But at least he was brief. Mm. Walk up, walk up, ladies and gentlemen, and see my lovely orange. <laughs> I shall be auctioning them off for our fast ball. Walk up, walk up. You know, that man Hodges makes the whole thing sound like a fairground. I said dreadfully common. He shouldn't be allowed in public yeah. places at all. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, come and see my monster brawn. The tickets for this are a penny each. Due to circumstances beyond my control, it only be on view for a few minutes, all the times during the afternoon, as it has to wait outside. Hey, my way, my mind your backs, mind, oh, mind your backs, please. Mind your backs, please. Master Braun's arrived. Stalman, how do you expect me to get a likeness if you keep fetching the boat? Would you like to try my elderberry wine? Oh, thank you. Well, I think I'll go and get some Tombola tickets, uh, Wilson. All right, sir. They've got a bottle of whiskey here for the first prize. Oh. Elizabeth takes a drop now and again, you know. Purely medicinal, of course. Oh, of course, yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now three o'clock. And the monster brawl will be on view for a further ten minutes. Mind your backs, please. Mind your backs. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> OK, I, uh, I think I'll buy some more Tombola tickets. Well, yeah. you've bought quite a lot already, haven't yes. you? Uh, haven't you won anything yet? Only this boat race favour. Oh, I said it's awfully attractive, isn't it? It's Cambridge, too. Lovely. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Gordon. Look what I've got in Captain Manrick, the bottle of whiskey. <laughs> he certainly smiled on me this afternoon. <laughs> Would you like some more tickets, Mr. Manring? No, I don't think I'll bother, thank you. <laughs> Come on, well, outside with it, it's melting. Go on, outside with it. sick and tired of lugging this thing uh, in and out all afternoon. Make way, make way! Thank you, very much. Thank you. Good heavens, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Sponge! Yes, Captain Manry. What's that child doing with all my wife's lampshades on her head? Well, I couldn't sell them as lampshades, so I'm selling them as funny hats for the kids. How dare you? Shoe socks. Oh, oh. oh son. I beg your pardon. Sorry. What's the matter with him? Well, he's obviously Tiddly. Tiddly? <laughs> How could he be? Just a minute, what's going on over there? They're drunk! Drunk! <laughs> <laughs> Godfrey, how much wine have you sold? Uh, none at all, I'm afraid, sir. Well, what about all these empty bottles? Well, you see, sir, uh, everybody's tasting it, but nobody's <coughs> buying it. Mr. Manning, while I was outside with the brawn, dispatch rider arrived, asked me to give you this. Oh, yes, where is he now? He's getting on his bike. Well, stop him, I want to talk to him. All right. Hang hey, on! Captain Manning, yes. sir, I want a raffle of brawn. Now, we can't keep lugging it in and out all the time, you know. No, very well, all right. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Manning, you've gone. Uh, Mr. Jones. Uh, there's something outside I think you ought to see. What is it? Brace yourself for a shock. <laughs> this will be about tomorrow's exercise, I suppose. Now, right, after the auction, get the men into my office, will you, please? All right, sir, yes, yes. All right. Can you marry him? Yes? Can you marry him? What is it? That dispatch rider, he's run over my brawn. <laughs> Good heavens. How did he manage to do that? He sort of went... Boom! <laughs> I shall now auction my origins. Walk up, walk up. I'm determined to get hold of one of those oranges. But how high are you prepared to go, sir? Where my wife is concerned, the sky's the limit. <laughs> Mr. Dodges, I just heard Captain Henry say he's determined to get my new oranges. Well, he's not going to. I'll see to that. <laughs> right, now, lot one, the first orange. Now, what am I bid for this lovely, juicy orange? Now, what am I... 
Sixpence down here. Thank you very much. Can I say one shilling now? I have sixpence down here. Can I say a shilling? One shilling. Thank you, madam. Going to the lady here for one shilling. Just a minute. I haven't finished bidding. But it's your hard bun, mate. You want to speak up a bit sharply. You? <laughs> you mumble. That's your trouble. Right. Lot two, the second orange. Now, what am I bid for this lovely, round, juicy orange? One, one shilling. shilling. Thank you very much. Can I say two shillings now? I have one shilling down here. Can I say two shillings? Two shillings, anybody? I have a shilling down here. Can I say two shillings? I have a shilling here. I am withdrawing this orange from the sale. Right. <laughs> It hasn't reached its reserve price. <coughs> what is its reserve price? Mind your own business. <laughs> right, Frank, now. Frank, you go and buy the orange for Captain Mannering. Mm -hmm. right. Off you go. Lot three, the third orange. Now, what am I bid for this lovely, juicy orange? One shilling, thank you very much, sir. Can I say two? Can I say two shillings? Two shillings, thank you very much indeed. Can I say three shillings now? I have two shillings there. Can I say three? Can I say three shillings? Three shillings, thank you very much, sir. Can I say four? Could I say four shillings? This lovely orange, this lovely round, juicy orange now. Four shillings, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Could I say five? Could I say five of this lovely orange now? Don't forget all the money goes for comforts for the troops now. Can I have five shillings, please? I have four there. Can I say five? Five, thank you very much. <laughs> say six now could I say six I have five here come along this lovely juicy orange six anybody six thank you very much six. thank you can I say seven now for this lovely orange this lovely orange that is only fell off the tree last week now now seven thank you very much indeed. thank you thank you very much go on to seven to the little fat gentleman in the front right can I say eight now can I say eight please eight can I say, I've got seven here, can I say eight, please? Eight, anybody? Eight, eight shillings for this loan. Eight shillings, thank you very much, indeed. I have eight shillings down here, can I say nine? Can I say nine? I have eight there, nine shillings for this lovely orange now. Nine shillings, thank you very much, I have nine, nine. Can I say ten? Can I say ten shillings for this lovely orange now? If not, it is going for the first time at nine shillings. Going for the second time at nine shillings. It is going, yes, yeah, ten shillings. <laughs> Frank bought it for you. Well, why didn't you say so? I've been bidding against myself. Yes, well, it, was, it was in your own interest. Get the man in the office. All right, sir. Right. Five, ten shillings for an orange. Yes, the boy's going off his head. Yeah. <laughs> your orange, Mr. Manreen. Thank you. See you that is, William. All right. Hello. Well, hello, Mrs. Manreen. Uh, uh, tell her I'm not here. He says he's not here. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'll give him that message, yes. You're going to stay with your sister for the weekend. Right. Tell her I've got an orange for her. I've got an orange for you. <laughs> I don't think he could do that. <laughs> she hung up. Sure. Sir, you wanted to see us, sir? Yes, yes, I did. I'll round up the others, sir. No, no, don't bother. No? Come in, close the door. All right. Now, I just wanted to thank you, man. For all the hard work you've done today. Once again, you rallied round and given your best for the war effort. <laughs> and the fact that I paid ten shillings for this orange must have swelled the coffers enormously. You haven't paid me for it yet. Quiet, boy. <laughs> now, I bought this orange, as I say, for ten shillings. And I'm going to share it with you. Oh, that's very good. Sir, 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 your generosity is beyond. Oh, you thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're like a father and mother to us, Captain Manning. Thank you. To us. Why not? Comrades in arms. To us. To us. Here, Napoleon, I forgot to tell you, you'll find those oranges rather bitter. They're for making marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.